सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फॉर टूटोरियल सो गाइज टूडे आई टीच यू न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ मोशन ट्रैकिंग एंड सी जी आई एंड वी एफ एक्स एडवर्टाइजिंग एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग ब्लैंडर गाइज आई एम नॉट यूजिंग एनी थर्ड पार्टी एड ऑन एंड आफ्टर इफेक्ट सी गाइज दैट्स माई रियली कूल एंड न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ एनिमेशन राइट ओके सो गाइज नाउ आई शो यू माई वन फ्रेम ब्रेंडर दैट्स माई सिंपल एनिमेशन एंड गो टू ऑन हेयर लाइक दिस सो गाइज गो टू ऑन ब्रेंडर एंड ब्रेंडर एनिमेशन चेक Yes, see guys, that's my really cool and beautiful render, right? It's really realistic composition, right? So guys, close and now guys, I show you how to create this type of animation. So guys, create new project and guys select all and press delete key. So first of all, guys, go to on here and use motion tracker option. So click and guys, joint area check. So now, guys, click on here. That's open. Guys, import your clip. So select and import. Guys, you can download this clip. Link in description. So guys, now go to on render setting. I use cycle render device GPU check. And guys, max M two five six is good for me. Okay. So guys, now next one go to on fill and transparent check. And go to on color management. And I use standard. Yes. See guys, that's my composition. Okay, so firstly, guys, go to on here. So firstly, guys, click on here. Set screen frame check, and guys, next one, prefetch check. See, guys, that's my prefetching. Okay, so guys, after that, so now next one, go to on here. See, guys, that's my motion match. So guys, you can use any option, but guys, this time I use this one. That's my location and rotation animation. See, guys, that's my location. Animation, right? And some rotation also. Okay, so guys, stop and go to back. And guys, also you can use this one also. That's my also perspective view. So I like perspective and normalize check. And guys, see that's my correction. I use zero point nine and check. Yes. Okay, so guys, next one I create detect feature. So I use motion tracking point. So detect feature check. And guys, go to on here threshold. Guys, threshold like a zero point zero eight. Enter more tracker points and distance. I like eighty. Enter yes. Right, see that's my simple setting. Okay, so guys, click on here and track marker check. Okay, so guys, my first tracking is finished. And next one, guys, again detect feature check. And guys, backward check. Okay so guys my tracking is finished and next one guys click on here guys i create smooth motion tracking so guys go to on solver and guys keyframe check and focal length and guys this one opacity and radius check and go to on here clean up and see guys that's my filter track so guys filter track threshold i like 10 10 enter yes okay so guys i'll change like a 5 yeah 5 is good And guys, delete, delete track check. That's my filter. And see, guys, that's my really smooth tracker, right? And guys, next one, go to one here. Solve camera motion check. Okay, so guys, my solve camera motion is finished. Guys, my solve camera error is zero point two eight is best for me. So next one, guys, also click on here. Clean track check. And guys, clean track camera like a two. And guys, is depend on your composition like a one and delete and delete track check. Yes, and one more time, guys, click on here solve camera motion check. Okay, so second time, guys, solve camera error is zero point one eight is best for me. Guys, you can hide this red dotted point. So Alt D like this, right? And guys, my solve error is zero point one eight is best. Okay, so guys, next one. Go to on here. Set background and guys set up track camera check. Yes. See guys, that's my setup. And guys, next one you can select any three points. So select only three points like this. Select first and guys second and third. So guys go to on here float check and guys now change scale size. So any select two points like this. And guys, see that's my scale size. I like five and set scale check. Yeah. 
and guys now all is good that's my center pivot so guys axis check yes okay so guys my work is finished that's my motion tracking and go to a layout and press zero yeah that's my camera and guys go to on here camera and opacity 100% check and check yes okay so guys now I set your camera angle so guys go to on here 3d cursor check select your camera and go to on here see guys, that's my location guys location change I will change and rotation go to back go to on here Z1 and guys location change yes we go to on mid yeah see guys that's my location and guys delete your cube I don't need this cube and guys increase scale size this one select your plane and increase scale size like this okay so guys more and guys go to on edit mode select your edge and guys increase scale size like this press zero yeah see guys, that's my scaling right okay so guys next one I create edges so guys go to on here select your edge select and guys right click go to on loop cut slice check and guys enter guys slice I like increase like a 4 is good yes and enter and next one guys go to on here select this points and select all yes and right click guys use subdivided so number of cut I like 20 yes that's my segments okay so now guys go to on here object mode and next one guys I apply this time cylinder so guys go to an add and use cylinder cylinder here like this and increase cylinder vertex like a 96 and guys radius increase radius increase like this like a 3.5 is good yeah and depth I will change okay see guys that's my cylinder and now guys position change so go to on here and guys change position like this okay so guys center axis so shift s and cursor to select select this one and guys I will change so go to on here yeah guys increase little bit scale size yes and position is good and guys play and play yeah right see that's my simple animation and next one guys I create whole effect boolean so stop guys select your plane and go to on here and guys go to on here and boolean check so guys object that's my object check and apply check see guys that's my cylinder guys go to on here like this yes good see guys, that's my whole effect right and next one guys this time I apply one more cylinder one more cylinder check and guys cylinder radius change and use cap I use nothing like this and guys I increase radius radius like this yes okay so now guys this time I apply thickness so use solidifier here solidifier check and guys increase solidifier like a minus 0.2 is good yes good see guys that's my whole effect and guys now next one select the cylinder so guys go to a mid so shift s submit one and press zero okay so guys scale size change okay so guys shift s and guys go to a mid scale size change like this yeah great see guys that's my composition and increase height so height increase like this yeah great okay so guys my composition is good and now guys you can apply any object so guys go to on here that's my blender kit add-on so guys type like a bottle enter and guys search more different style of bottles so I like this one yeah I like this one so guys simple simple click yes see guys that's my champagne bottle right this one 
and guys i change scale size so go to on here select this layer and increase scale size increase like this and guys press zero okay so guys little bit change scale size change yes and guys select your cylinder so guys now i create also animation yes so guys go to on seven press seven and guys see that's my top view angle and go to on mid increase size so select your champagne bottle and increase size so guys go to on mid like this yeah great okay so now guys go to down select your cylinder and go to on this layer guys now i create parent effect so guys select your cylinder this one and select your champagne bottle and press control p and object check yes so guys select your cylinder and that's my parent effect right okay so guys go to down like this and now guys i create like a simple plane so guys i take plane and increase plane size like this yes and little bit down little bit little bit yes that's it guys okay so guys now i create position animation that's my plane and guys p check and guys press position so press i and location check and guys go to like a 80 frame and position change like this and press i and location check yes and go to back and play yeah it's good okay so guys go to here and guys change position yeah and location check yes okay see guys that's my first animation and now guys select keyframe and press t and liner check and next one guys i create this time champagne bottle position animation so guys go to on like a 90 frame and guys go to on here select your cylinder this one and guys press one and little bit up yes and guys press i and location check so guys go to like a 200 frames and position go to on up and guys press zero and little bit up yeah and press i and location check yes okay so guys now press one and go to on here that's my cylinder so guys little bit change cylinder position so guys go to on edit mode click on here so guys go to down attach on this bottle bottom right and guys select this point go to down like this yeah that's it guys okay also i select your this one cylinder and guys go to on edit mode select all this one see guys that's my cylinder right press one select all and down like this yeah great okay so guys see that's my composition and press click on here and guys go to back so guys go to back and play yeah that's my first animation and guys after that that's my second animation yes and guys little bit change the scale size so guys select your bottle this one and bottle check and guys scale size change like this and also guys more so guys select your cylinder cylinder check and go to like a 200 frames and up yes go to up yeah and press i and location check okay so guys my final position animation is finished now go to back and play that's my final work and guys second animation yeah it's good okay also guys i create rotation animation rotation so guys stop go to back and go to on here that's my champagne bottle so guys rotation like this i create rotation like this this one z axis so guys go to zero frame and check and go to last so guys like a 720 and check yes and select your all key and press t and location check so press zero and guys go to back and play okay so guys my final work is finished that's my final animation and next one guys i apply some material 
Yeah, great. See guys, that's my final work, right? It's looking really good. Okay, so guys, stop. And now guys, I apply material for this one, cylinder. So guys, go to on here and type cement. Enter. Yeah, see guys, that's my different, different style of cement effect. And guys, I like this one. That's fit for my material. So select this one and simple click. And guys, click on here, texture preview. Yeah, see guys, that's my material is fit for my work. And guys, now I apply glow material on side corner. So guys, select your this one. And guys, see that's my inner object cylinder. So guys, go to pack. So guys, now this time, guys, select your this one. Go to on here, edit mode, select edge, select face. So guys, select this all faces. So holding alt, yeah. And I apply glow material. So guys, create new material. And guys, I use this time surface animation. And guys, color, I like like a blue 0 0.6 and one. And strength, I like 10, yeah. So guys, now next one, click on here. Okay, so guys, front face, I like white material. So guys, I like white and assign check. Yes, that's it guys. Okay, so guys, press zero. That's my composition. And guys, now, so guys, next one, select your plane, this one. So guys, select this one plane. And guys, click on here. So use shadow catcher. So guys, visibility and shadow catcher check. And guys, select second plane, this one. And shadow catcher check, yes. And guys, go to on render preview. Final render preview, yeah. See guys, that's my work. And guys, now I apply lighting. So guys, click on here, word. And firstly guys, I apply SDRI environment texture. So select. And guys, apply any environment texture depending on your work. So apply, yes. And guys, next one, I use this time sunlight. So lighting, and use sunlight. And guys, go to on here, up. And guys, select this one. And guys, change this one, center and rotation change like this. So guys, I change render setting. Actually this one, sun setting. Guys, strength I like two and angle like a 20. And press zero and guys play. Yeah, good. See guys, that's my final work. Yes. Okay, so guys, click on here, render preview. Final render preview, yeah, great. So guys, play, yes. See guys, that's my final work, right? It's looking really good. So guys, go to back and one more time, play. Yeah, that's my flow. And guys, next one, that's my wine bottle animation. Yes, great, right? Okay, so guys, my animation is finished. It's looking really beautiful. And guys, I show you my one frame render, so stop. So guys, render and render image check. See guys, that's my beautiful shadow, like a MB occlusion effect, right? See guys, that's my final work as a my final render. Guys, my render output is looking really good and realistic. So guys, my work is finished, so close. And guys, now go to on here. Guys, frame rate, use same frame rate as a, your video. My video is 29.97 FPS. And go to an output. I create new folder. So enter and take any file name. I create JPEG. I create JPEG render sequences. So guys, go to unpack and guys go to on here and render and render animation check. Okay, so guys, that's it. My final work is finished. So guys, if you like my video, please share and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.